Hi, this is your host, Crane Room Gary, saying welcome to my YouTube channel. Crane Room Gary, Detroit and Mackinac Railway, a Crane Room Gary production. Hi, I'm Crane Room Gary, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a Union Pacific Challenger and an Amtrak Genesis. Now, today we'll be talking about trackside accessories manufactured by Z stuff. So it's going to be a crossing gate, and we'll also be taking a look at the uh, trackside signals. So, all aboard for an adventure with Train Room Gary. Oh, look at all that popcorn. Here's a packing slip. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go out to the garage and get rid of all this popcorn. All right, we're out at the uh, recycling bucket. Let's take this popcorn and get me put it in there. That looks like rain. Uh oh, they lost something. Let's go get it. Yeah, this is kind of important. Don't want to be throwing this stuff away. All right, three things came in this package. The crossing gates. This is a three color signal light. And this is the uh, signal, I like to call it a little flag on it. That's also the upper quadrant. And these have little sensors in them where it requires nothing to go on the track. It just as when a train goes by, there's a little light here that's going to be picked up as the train passes and you can adjust the, you know, the, the tolerance of that. So we'll give us a try. This is my first time trying this product. These are all O scale and S scale. And of course I'm O scale. Alright, I got some uh, power going to them. And I'm just testing them out and you can see here how it changes. And I'm just going to do a simple setup. If you can see on my board here, I just have uh, the wires here set up to some alligator clips. I'm just going to test this stuff out right here before I wire it up. Now the my setup, the yellow and white, there's no other relay down the track. So I'm just going to go up the simple setup here. You know, red will be the hot and then black will be the ground side of your transformer. If you look up here, you can see that it is going through a rotation cycle. Now it's going to, you know, as a train goes by, it will pick up this little electric guy here. We'll pick up, see how it changes when I put my finger over that. Then you just go through a cycle, and then it's gonna, as the train goes by, I think it's like a 15 second, I'll say going to yellow, and then it should go back to green. And that's basically what it's gonna do. All right, let's look at the other one. Actually, you can watch it move here. Let's see if we can get the move. All right, this is the Phillips screwdriver. You're going to go on here and you have to set the sensitivity of this. But I'm not going to mess with this until I get, to, get it on layout. But you can change this left to right. And then on here is the wiring diagram. And we're going to do the simple one. But I'll do some more adjusting when I get it on the layout when it trains it going by. That's the only way you can tell how it picks up the action from the wheels. Okay, let's uh, drill the hole for the wires. All right, you can see my uh, pile of drill, drill shavings here. Sometimes I just like to grab a piece of duct tape and get all those shavings to stick to the tape and just pull it out of there. And you can see how it sticks to the back of the tape. Do that two or three times and got your mess cleaned up. Okay, I'm gonna be using this Atlas 20 gauge wire. And I'm gonna hook the wire onto the signal light before I feed it to the table so I don't have to mess around with soldering under there. If I put on 24 inches of wire, I'll be right to my terminal blocks to get my power. All right, we're gonna solder this wire here, heat the wire up, and add the uh, solder. Okay, we got it. 
that's it. I gotta do that a couple more times and uh, ready to install it. All right, we're gonna feed these uh, wires through here and just kind of push it down in there. I got, I have two screws here. Just gonna twist it in there. And the screws we're gonna put in ahead of time to make this a little easier and just tighten these screws up. And that should hold it. All right, we're under the uh, table, bench work. Over here is a set of blocks, terminal blocks I can hook onto or up here to these set of wires. Just doing these wire nuts. So I got two choices either here or on the terminal block located over here. Kind of a mess under my table, isn't it? Almost embarrassed to show you this. All right, over here is the sensitivity setting, and you change it with the Phillips screwdriver. Right now, we got the green. I'm running this prototypical toy train. Let's give it a drive by and see what happens. We should see a change. And the signal lights. And it's gone to the red. See, we're getting a warning that it's going to change. Hopefully, it changes and it should go back to green once the train passes. Let's see what happens here. There's the yellow and there's the green. So, I got it set up pretty close. So here is our flag of the similar phone upper quadrant. The green is now on, so we got green in this block, the caution in the red. Let's see what happens over here. You can see the top of the steam engine approaching. Let's give it a try. This is the dispatcher. You're cleared outbound. Over. Roger that. Got your signal. Out. All right, this is train room gear. We got the clear outbound. Let's see what happens. The next project is going to be installing these crossing gates and I'm going to follow the double track plan because we're going to put this at there's two tracks but the only problem is my inside track here is on a curb so I'm not too sure how that's going to swing plus I have to do some build up of the land around that because of the road incline so I'm going to have to bring it back next month or one of my next videos to finish this demonstration on installing the signal gates so this is train room Gary See you in the next one. Hi, I'm Crane Room Gary. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Remember to ring the bell to get all the email notifications. Please hit me up with a like if you enjoyed this video. And as always, cheers from Detroit and Mackinac Railway. Detroit, Michigan, USA. Check out these videos from my YouTube channel.